here we are at the top end of the sustainable hydroelectric power scheme. Just behind me is the dam, originally built in the 1900s. There was hydroelectric power in Pasenabal in the 1900s. And what we're doing now is following the same principles but a new route. Using new technology, I'm standing roughly where the, the first point will come from, where we pick up the water and take it in a, a 30 millimetre pipe down to our turbine house, which is located on the main road. In, in setting up the scheme, we've had many constraints put on us about the times of year we can work. Where we stood at the moment, we can't actually do any of the construction work until once all the ground nesting birds have fledged. At the bottom end of the scheme, we can't work on there in the winter months because of nesting back. So we've had to timetable things to fit in, making sure that we don't cause any undue damage to the local environment. There are also many constraints because of trees. There are some areas where we won't be able to dig at all and the pipe will have to be anchored above ground. That was considered to be the preferred option to causing any damage to tree roots and potentially damage to some very ancient um, oak trees which are in this part of the woods. How much will it cost and when's the payback? Well, the total bill cost of the scheme are about £420,000. The payback should be within about 10 years at current electricity costs. The scheme will generate approximately 100,000 kilowatts of electricity and that, to put it into domestic terms, would feed into 14 domestic households.